Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's begin and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4. Pawn to e3. Not e4. Wrong arrow there. And then I can just develop the bishop. The bishop is being attacked. So I can just bring it back. If the opponent takes, I can take back, which doesn't happen. Uh, here, again, I can play pawn forward. Just trying to have a good solid center. I can take the pawn, maybe. I can. Or I can go ahead with a check. Let's give a check first. See how the open defends. Okay. Now I can take a pawn. Opponent can take the bishop. Or the pawn, of course, which would be bad. I take. Okay, I can play pawn forward, trying to have a good pawn structure there. Which my opponent goes behind straight away. I'll take this first to begin with. Okay. Get my queen here. Hmm. So if he takes, I take back. That's fine. I'll just place my pawn here. So he doesn't take. I go here with the knight. Okay. This attacks the base of my pawn chain. Little pawn chain, whatever I have. I'll go and attack the bishop with the knight. Maybe get my queen active. Oh, e and g4 looks nice. Let's see where my opponent takes his bishop now. Can take here, just to save it, if he wishes to. That is losing bishop for free. Don't lose bishops for free. And of course, we are not having a rematch right away because we have to analyze the game, which wasn't much of a game, just a normal London system setup. Getting the bishop back is always an idea. And then I just, oh, okay. So here was the trick. I could have gone with queen over to g4, which defends the bishop and attacks the pawn. In case my opponent takes here, I can decide what all I want to take. And taking this makes more sense because yes, the opponent can save this bishop, but I take on the rook. And opponent has to save. I take here. Bishop can be saved, but that's it. Then I get tired with the knight. So queen c7 was the right move there, which I missed. Next time, whenever opponent plays something like that, I'll remember that. Knight comes here, and I take the pawn. Opponent takes back. Uh, I play pawn forward b4. I can take the knight, so I do. And then I go ahead with pawn forward, trying to solidify the center there, or the, the a and b files. And then I went with knight f3. The opponent's knight comes in between. Then I just try to attack the bishop, and he mistakenly just i don't know what was going in his head but had even gone back uh, the position wise white well, looks solid here no not nothing much to be worried about uh i just want to figure out why my why computer suggesting to go ahead with the knight because that lose the pawn on on the spot and if i try to attack the knight open can take the pawn as well or if i go here attacking the knight then again my opponent can move backwards or the same place with the knight so i don't see why 
uh, that is advantage to white maybe because i have deflected the opponent's knight to the part of the court of the of the, of the board where the knight would be inactive eventually so maybe that's why uh, it's plus one in the favor of white here but in the game my open just left the bishop hanging i think christmas new year gifts are still coming new year gifts why not take it i took it and then my open resigns because there's nothing left uh, yes this can happen i can defend uh, by moving the queen as well by moving the pawn as well anything is fine i'm way ahead in the game so yeah that was over i hope you liked the video do let me know your feedback Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And see you next time. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.